So a day in the life uh, of a Davis Cup uh, support team member, I guess. Um, we'll pick the Friday of, of the tie because that seems to be the, uh, the, the day uh, that the most happens, uh, particularly in the most recent tie against the States. Um, so very, very early start. Uh, and these are pretty exhausting days, but a very early start because um, if we kind of work backwards from the, from the first match, which is at 11 o'clock, um, the court has to basically be clear by 10 o'clock in the morning. So working back from that, the Americans uh, got the, the best practice time of 9 till 10. Therefore, we had 8 till 9 to warm up both of our singles players. Uh, so again, working back from that, kind of a weird way to explain it, but um, we were having breakfast around about half six, quarter to seven that morning. Um, and kind of getting the players up and about and ready to head over to the courts uh, for around 7, 7.30. Warming the players up for their first practice at 7.30 and then out they go at 8 till 9, uh, James and Andy, for, uh, for their hit. Then, there, then there's basically getting the other players in, the doubles guys, making sure that they've got, uh, got their physical work done and things um, before for their practice. Uh, and then warming up the guys for their match, at, uh, so warming up Andy for his match at half past ten. Just before that he's had a pre-match snack which we've had to organise as well, get that all, all sorted too. So there's plenty of bits and bobs to be, uh, to be getting done before, before the first match at uh, 11 o'clock. From 11 o'clock it's pretty much screaming and shouting for the next few hours. Uh, and I kind of imagine it that um, if you told someone to sit in a room on their own and stand up and sit down a few hundred times screaming at the top of their voice for four or five hours, you can imagine how kind of how exhausted that person would be at the end of the day. Um, and um, so that can just give you a little bit of perspective on how difficult it is to, to keep going and keep supporting uh, the guys who are good. But it's a pleasure to, to do that when, when guys are giving their best effort out on the court like, like they do. Anyway, um, I digress a little bit. Then, um, about after about a set of the first match, you want to get James, who's playing second, you want to get him back into the locker room, really, because you don't want your second singles player um, losing too much energy by screaming, shouting, and banging, advertising, hoarding, and things. So, um, so you want to get that person back into the locker rooms, get them sat with the physio, uh, a bit of, bit of treatment to keep them loose, a bit of food. Um, to get them fueled up for their match. Uh, then, kind of as, as the first match is coming to an end, perhaps kind of the, the last part of the, uh, of the final set, and you're kind of guessing, of course, when that's going to be, you head in to warm the, the second singles player up and get them physically prepared for their match. Then, once the first singles match is done, that player comes off, so off comes Andy for his cool down, for his treatment, his ice bath. Um, so he, get, he gets that done pretty much straight away as James goes out for, his, for the start of his match. So we get that kind of stuff done, head out for a few more hours of screaming and shouting, uh, and then once that match is done, which incredibly uh, it was done and, and, and we'd, we'd won that match as well, or he'd won that match, we were two love up, so it's quite a, a jubilant but cautious um, locker room when, uh, when James came back into the, uh, the locker room there. No time to, to, to mess around, straight into his cool down, his physio treatment and all the rest of it, whilst you're getting the other players back to the hotel to just uh, shower up, ready for some, some food in the evening. And then the evening meal is, is, is served as well back at the hotel. So. Um, Straight after dinner, the players are having physio treatment. So pretty much that day doesn't finish until about 9, 10 p.m. and starts at about 6.30 in the morning. So there's lots of work to be done, all good work, mind, and uh, all very, very worthwhile. And uh, let's hope we can do the same again against the Italians in a few weeks' time.